everyone, before we uh, get into our concept or our topic here of the Black Diamond Challenge, I just want to invite you all to follow us on Twitter. Um, I just did them in the wrong. So I'm at there as EdTechHack, and you'll find Jared as Ward JHS. There's a D um, in yeah, there. Yeah, there's a D in there. Who made this? I don't know. Fired. It might have been you. Probably me. So um, EdTech as an educational technology specialist. I'm new to Canyons, just got here a year ago from Maryland. And Jared's been here since the start. And Canvas is also something that's new to the Canyon School District. And we'd like to share with you uh, about how we got the people that are using it excited and motivated and involved with the product. So I know you've probably heard a lot of presentations about tools that go with Canvas. and um, you know, some of the tips and tricks, we want to talk mostly about people and how to get people using it. And so the people that we were working with are our teachers and students in our public K-12 school district. We're a pretty large district. We actually just split. There was some controversy, those of you from Utah might remember. But um, we still have about 33,000 students, about 1,600 teachers. We had last year about 16,000 active Canvas users. Does that sound right, Robert? Yeah. Okay. Um, our initial trainings, as we got started with Canvas, we knew we wouldn't be able to train the whole district all at once. It's just too big a group, and we're a team of about 20. So we started with a pilot group of about 20 teachers about two years ago now. Um, that pilot group of 20 teachers is now our Canvas evangelists in our schools, and they've been great to help train other teachers and work with our, uh, the, the other faculty on their staff. But at the beginning of last school year, we also started working with all of our language arts teachers, all of our science, uh, and all of our world languages teachers. So we added those groups, those 250 teachers, to specific trainings. And they came for one or two days of training throughout the school year. But our core group of 20 had eight sessions of a of full day training where we talked about blended learning with Canvas, blended learning instructional design, as well as Canvas integration. So as we got started with that group of 20, we really, really wanted to focus on not just what Canvas can do, but what blended learning instruction looks like. Uh, what we don't want to have happen is have a teacher sit up at the front of the classroom and say, the information for today's lesson is all in Canvas. The Chromebooks are there. Go pick them up. If you have any questions, I'll be here. Come ask me. We don't want that to happen. We don't want poor instruction to seep into our classrooms because of the technology that we're bringing to them. Uh, so we've started to really focus more, and in, in, in the coming years, we're going to talk a lot with our teachers about blended learning instructional design and make sure that they really understand what adding a technology piece like Canvas looks like in their classroom. All right, so you've probably heard those stories about professional development or great ideas that happen in the hallway. And if I could call this a great idea, I would say that this did happen right in the hallway. Um, Jared, Rachel, and I were kind of crossing paths, and we were talking about how do we get teachers motivated to use Canvas and try new things. And uh, being a ski bum and dragging my, my family across the country to ski here, I immediately thought of how ski resorts denote their runs for beginners, intermediate, and expert skiers. And everybody loves badges, right? If you doubt that, look at your lanyards, right? So we were thinking of ways to give teachers these badges as they achieve these different levels. So, um, you know, you think about a first-time user gets the green level, then as soon as they become more advanced, they get a blue square, and then a black diamond. And then when I talked about this, I realized what an opportunity to make a ski movie, which is my favorite thing to do. So we'd like to share with you, even though Rachel's not here, we will share with you her movie as she introduces the Black Diamond Challenge. to introduce to you the Canvas Black Diamond Challenge, a program inspired after the way ski resorts classify their trails. The green level is for those teachers just getting started with Canvas. 
Learn the fundamentals and match your classroom to the Canyon's Canvas Style Guide. Once teachers are comfortable with the fundamentals of Canvas, they'll move on to the Blue Square Challenges and receive a Blue Square Swag Bag. Teachers who reach the Blue Square level are beginning to use Canvas for assignments and discussions and are posting course content for students to access when not at school. The Black Diamond Canvas Challenge isn't a race. Take your time to learn each skill so that you can become an effective, blended classroom teacher. Once you've received your Blue Square Swag Bag, it's time to move beyond the blues and to challenge yourself with the advanced features of Canvas. Moving up from a Blue Square to a Black Diamond means that you are starting to use Canvas regularly in your classroom for assignments and discussions, and you're starting to experiment with peer collaborations and using CSD Docs for group projects. Sometimes you don't have the luxury of a trail map to help you get where you're going. Reach out to your ed tech for times when you need more help. How about a hand for Michael? He made that whole video. It's pretty nice. Um, and I do want to make sure that we introduce Rachel Murphy. He, uh, she is had a family engagement in Las Vegas, and I feel really bad for her. Um, but she had to be with her family, and so we want to excuse her, but she has been an integral part in building this. So uh, Rachel Murphy is, uh, again, a big part of our team and, and uh, has really helped build what this has become. So uh, as we looked at what Canvas could do, it's a pretty lengthy list of all the things that Canvas can do, and this isn't even a complete list. But these are the things that immediately stood out to us. These are the things that we thought could be beneficial to teachers in our classrooms and to students in their own learning. And we wanted to whittle that list down so that it was something a little bit more manageable. And this is kind of what we came up with. The things that are marked in green were, the, again, the beginning level, kind of building your course, building Canvas as a class website. Uh, then we evolved to the blue items. And that's where a teacher is sending out assignments, maybe announcements, calendar events. They're communicating directly with the students, and the students are also beginning to communicate back with the teacher. They're submitting assignments, maybe engaging in discussions or, co or sorry, comments about a certain assignment. Uh, so we whittled some of the things down that we knew we couldn't use in our classrooms, maybe weren't relevant in K-12. We also took some things out that uh, we knew we would want to focus on later, that we weren't quite ready for to teach. Um, you know, we were still learning Canvas as well, as we built this. So this is the kind of the list of what we needed and this is how it turned into the Canvas challenge. Uh, it became a checklist for teachers so that they could kind of self-assess and check off the things that they needed in their classes. Um, and all of this is on our website. It's all on our, uh, we have what we call the Canvas Fast Track. That's our like self-guided training course as well as the foundation for all of the trainings that we do in Canvas. It's evolving, especially over the summer as Canvas makes changes. But you're welcome to access any of those things. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But each of these levels, we'll go through them individually, get a little closer shot so you can see them a little bit better. But at the different levels, they have tasks to check off. And again, it's, it's, uh, what's important for us to communicate, I think, is that this isn't a tiered level of expertise with Canvas. Some of our teachers, I would say most of our teachers, when they work with Canvas, they're going to live at a blue level. And we're all OK with that. Uh, they're sharing assignments, they're engaging students, they might be adding discussions or some of the black diamond level elements. But what it is for us is it's a scaffolded experience for our training so that teachers can select the things that really work for them and move on in, at a pace or a, a methodology, pedagogy that works for them. So as we mentioned in the video, um, in order for people to grow, we have to step out of our comfort zone. And that can be a very scary thing for anybody, but especially for teachers when you're standing in front of 30 students and you're trying some technology that you might fumble with, but they're better at using than you are. So by scaffolding, we can create some basic skills and then build on them from there. So here's how it works. When we first get started with teachers, we might have them in, it could be an hour-long training in their school or maybe in their department. It might be an hour-long training after school with their ed tech. 
might be an all-day training if they're part of our cohort. Um, and then we also have the Canvas Fast Track, which we are going to invite you to at the end. It is a completely open Canvas course. We'll give you the um, invite URL and you can join it and you're free to use it, build on it, steal from it, say it's yours, don't do that. But um, so here's how we basically get started. We got them in the class, we get them in the Fast Track, and we give them these badge holders that they can then put in their classroom and put stickers on as they achieve the different levels. Um, to get more in depth, let's look at the green level first. This is your beginner. And how you use Canvas in your classroom kind of parallels how you use the internet in your classroom. Right? Some teachers use it as just a mechanism for delivering information, having a website up there with the same thing all year. Here's my name, here's my number, here's my email. So we have them start a basic Canvas course setup, and that's easy for them if they're in the fast track because they're seeing how Canvas is used from the perspective of a student first. They begin to understand how Canvas works, and we expect them to use Canvas as a website, like I said, a static website to post that basic information and have people be able to contact them and maybe post some resources students will need. Now the blue level, the more intermediate user, is gonna start with some actual communication now. This isn't static anymore, this is now a dynamic page. They're utilizing more of the features for assessment and instruction. We'll start to see organizing content into things like modules and um, maybe even pages. And then we're also gonna see some communication and feedback start to occur between the teachers and the students. So the assignments are given out, they're collected, and then we have that feedback building. So now we've got real collaboration. To take this to the next level, we provide students with an opportunity to collaborate with each other. So now, you're still building on that green level. You've got your static page with your information. You're also using the blue level skills. You're doing assignments, calendaring, et cetera. But we take it a step further, and we start to utilize discussions, group projects, peer reviews. So now you've got cloud communication, cloud collaboration that's happening online, not just between the teacher and the student, but between the students themselves. Okay, and this is where we start to get into that blended learning environment. So now that we've got a plan in place, we've got a program that we want to enroll teachers in, we've got a training course in the Canvas Fast Track, how do we get teachers excited about Canvas? And so I want to go back to that, uh, the how it works slide and talk about this. We, this is the badge holder that we give to all of our teachers. We pass these out at the beginning of a training or we've delivered them to our teachers in, in schools individually. And we're, we put these up with the hopes that they get put, placed in the window of every classroom in our schools. And then the teachers, as they move through Canvas, they put their badge, and we'll show you those here in a minute. They put their badge on the badge holder. It's, just, it's a sticker, but badge sounds fancier. Um, but we put the badge on green. and then uh, teachers know who they can turn to for help because we're not always there I work in two large high schools with about you know, I have about 200 teachers that I work with total and about 3,000 well sorry about 4,000 students in each of those schools so uh, I can't be there all the time and I can't be there to support them every minute that they need so they teachers have built-in supports in the school but students we're hoping will also start to understand Again, we're about a year into this, but students will begin to understand the level of Canvas use that they can expect from the teacher as they walk into class. Uh, and we're, again, still training, still building, and still helping people understand what this is. But as we get further along with Canvas, we get more and more emails and requests for these badge holders in classrooms. And we think that's a pretty good sign. Don't forget, if you're a green level user and you've got a teammate down the hall who has a blue square or a black diamond, then you can go there and get some help. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk to you about what the Canvas challenge became. Michael mentioned that uh, at the green level you get a badge, at the blue level you get a bag of prizes. That was also in the video, I guess, with Rachel talking about it. And then at the black level we gave grants, and this was a budgeted item from our district, but we gave teachers $100, $500, and $1,000 grants. The list of things they could purchase were given to them. They could also purchase something else that they thought they'd like to buy. We typically gave iPads out in sets of five, Chromebooks out in sets of five, and this is kind of what we've given out so far this year. I think I might have guessed a little low on some of these as I was putting this together, but that's about where we are as far as the grants that we've given out to teachers to integrate more technology into their classroom. Uh, the number of teachers who participated, again, we trained about 20, 25 initial teachers. We worked with about 250 throughout the district, and this is our total acceptance implementation group 
We had about 80 teachers apply for black or green level, 41 at blue, and 26 at black diamond. Um, and we think that's pretty good. We have about 125 pretty active Canvas users who are participating in this black diamond challenge, and a few more than that, maybe up to about 200, who are using Canvas at some level or another, and you know, we just kind of don't know about them. So as we move to the next uh, couple of years, we are kind of thinking and planning how we can make this bigger and better. One of the things that we initially saw was that some of the teachers who got to black diamond level only just barely got there and maybe kind of faked it to get there. And we called them gray, don't tell them. But <laughs> this isn't going online, right? Just but, <laughs> Just YouTube, that's good. Um, so we kind of called them gray. They weren't really black diamond level, but we awarded it to them anyway, and we gave them some recognition and some extra help to really get them to fully black diamond integration in their classrooms. But one of the things we want to build in our plans for 2014, where we are going to expand the green level. So it's not just a static website. We do add more dynamic content materials to our green level. We are doing a focus training. Now instead of 20, we're tra focusing training on about 150 teachers. There'll be about four or five uh, teacher leaders, um, nine in our high schools, uh, at every school so that every location in our district has somebody they can go to to ask questions and get help. Uh, we also have a big Canvas training, a kickoff at the beginning of the year in, in August that's going to happen. And that'll, we're inviting about 500 teachers to that event. And our goal is to get all of our secondary teachers green by 2015. So in June of 2015, they'll walk out of the building with a Canvas course set up for all of their classes. So in the fall, at least, of 2015-16, they can walk in, copy content, and be ready to go with Canvas, Canvas and kind of understand how that works for them. Uh, and then we are adding also a double black diamond level. Um, Mike, talk about that. So if, you, uh, if, if you're ever on a black diamond run and then you throw some trees and some cliffs on it, you get double black diamond. So we need a level now for our black diamond teachers to aspire to, take it to the next level. And when you make the uh, acronym Blended Learning and Canvas K-12, black. That will be the name of our second course that we'll design this year for the users who are ready to go on to that next double black diamond level. Um, so That's you wanna, good. You we build some awesome. Our uh, our expectations are that the teachers will maintain black diamond level for a, a minimum of three months to reach double black diamond level. We're still building what this really looks like. Uh, the logo is pretty hot off the presses. We just built this course about a week ago, the course shell, and uh, so it. That's our logo, our design for now. It will probably change, um, but what we wanted to have happen at this presentation was for us to share some ideas with you so you could go back and build something like this in your own schools. And that's what I want to talk about now. When we came to Instructure last year and we, we presented on Canvas for Mobile, it was a lot of fun. We had a great time. We have that presentation. I think it's on YouTube as well. And we've got a great website you can go check out there. But we also saw eCornell and other training shell courses, and we really, really wanted to build something that was our own. And that's where the Canvas Fast Track came from. We got our ideas from here, and we want to share those with you. So here's what we think can help you build this at your schools. I saw a lot of you taking photos of this slide. I think this is where it all started for us. We looked at what Canvas was capable of, and then we measured the things that were most important. What do you need Canvas to do at your institutions? At K-12, it's something typically very different than at a university. So your list is going to look different than you know, even the high school down the road, possibly. So build your own list of the things that are the most important, and then collect them in, in groups that make sense. Again, ours was teacher communication to the students, student to teacher communication, and then student to student communication and feedback. That's how we tried to scale this. And then the last thing we want to end on is what we think makes effective professional development. And it took us about a year to really crystallize these ideas. But these are the things we believe about professional development. Number one, you've got to provide adequate training. It's got to be ongoing, just in time, focused, face-to-face, -face, online. All of those things are important. Teachers are very busy, and you've got to be able to support them where they are and when they need it. Uh, the next thing is feed them well. Uh, we always brought lunch to our trainings. We had food and snacks. Somebody mentioned chocolate was a great idea. I think that's a great way to go. Um, the other idea is to compensate them for their time. And that does fit in, we think, a little bit with the swag. We've got some examples of our black diamond swag. And if we've got time for questions, we'll pass some of that out. 
but that compensation for time happens uh, monetarily as well as some of the swag that we pass out. And then the integration in the training with the training course. Our training course is the Canvas Fast Track. We refer to it all the time. It's not three courses, it's always one. There's not an online course, there's not a face-to-face -face course and a just-in-time course. It's one course and we, re we reference it all the time so every teacher knows what it is and where to find it. If you want to access it, this is kind of the home page and what it looks like. This is our URL, canyonsdistrict.org backslash Canvas Fast Track. Uh, we will post this in the discussion as well as our presentation notes in the discussion where you can kind of give us feedback and ask questions there as well. So if you have any questions ongoing, please share them there in that discussion board or tweet them out to us. All right, so that course is, uh, you do get credit in our district from the Utah, Utah State Office of Education and it's self-paced, so teachers can take all year to complete that course if they want or they can do it in a couple of weeks. Um, when we have these teachers trained and we have them at the black diamond level, we've got our agents of change. We've got our people within the schools who can be the catalyst to make things happen with Canvas in their schools and, and support the teachers that are using it. Now, I do want to fix something real quick here and um, I'll give you guys the opportunity to ask some questions. And what Jared's going to do and what I can do is we're going to pass out some of the swag to you guys uh, based on your questions and how we got started and how we implemented this. Question right there. Uh, our our okay. deployment right now, down. oh, the question is, uh, are we only working with secondary? The answer, really short answer is yes. Right now our implementation is grades 6 through 12. Uh, we do have some of our team that is writing proposals right now to go K through 6 so that we can work with our elementaries as well. So it, it's coming, just hasn't happened yet. So do you want a stylus or a lanyard or a clip? Um, yes, ma'am, in the back in the canvas sweatshirt. Fantastic. Do you have an iPad? No, our, it's budgeted from our department. Our education technology director funded about $20,000 for the fast track training um, and the swag. So, Good question. Um, yeah. Yes, sir, right here. Do you want a stylus? Do you have an iPad? These are good ones. It's on. Oh, it was. Go ahead, and I'll repeat your question. Yeah. Um, so I saw you had a big monthly program. Mm -hmm. uh, were teachers never demoted? Um, <laughs> <laughs> the question is, have, have we ever demoted anybody, like from blue level back to green? Yeah. No, I mean, you no. couldn't go from blue back to green. No. But you can go from black to blue, and we did have that happen. Um, we had a teacher who was at the black level, and he applied for black again for another month, and... I uh, didn't make it, okay. so we wouldn't say demoted, but he just wasn't maintaining that level of use. He did, wasn't regular, u regularly using discussions, let's say. Um, so, yeah, um, thanks. Whoa. <laughs> now it's on. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. Um, do we use Canvas with or the Black Diamond Challenge? Just, uh, just, uh, sort of again, the different levels. No, we have not used it with others, but we are looking at it that way because yeah. we have other things to implement like Google Docs and Google Apps for Educators. Exactly. Okay, another question right back there. Yes. So you said it's only one class, so what is it, different modules that they take for the different levels? Or? Yes. Okay. 16 modules. Yeah, wow. it took a minute to build. Um, <laughs> so, but the, the modules aren't necessarily tied to Black Diamond ideas. It's how to build pages, how to use discussions effectively, um, how to do peer reviews and other collaborations. So the how-tos are all there, and, it, and we try to, form, to ask it in the form of a question. How do I, so the teacher reads that question and, and answers it themselves and finds the information they need. Uh, and, and it does correlate, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yes, ma'am, in the back. Oh, oh wait, wait. wait. Um, are you, we're recording this, and so they don't hear your questions unless you speak into the mic. So who? Oh, right back there. Do you want a stylus? There you go. Um, I was just wondering, I don't see anything about using the outcomes or having them teach based on standards. Are you thinking about incorporating that maybe into your double black diamond? Because that's a pretty cool tool. Yes. Sorry, I just threw that at you. <laughs> um, we do use outcomes, and we do teach outcomes. Blue level, it, there's a requirement that they grade at least one assignment with a rubric. 
We are building district level outcomes. It's kind of our, the world languages group is one that I worked with specifically and, and we focused a lot on outcomes. We built district level outcomes and then integrated them into every world language teacher's course. Uh, the issue we had with outcomes was just the reporting at the district level. It comes in one gigantic CSV file that includes every outcome in our entire instance of Canvas. So we've got to figure out a way to export that. We've been working with Canvas on a better method of getting that data back, but uh, so far we haven't seen that yet. But Yeah. Well, our school district is looking at mastery-based grading right now. Elementary just switched to mastery-based grading. And our middle schools are piloting a couple of different programs, and one of them is Canvas and Outcomes. So that could possibly become our gradebook for secondary. We're just not sure yet. Yeah. So. Yes, sir. How do you manage the monitoring of all of this? I mean, you only had 100 or so teachers right now, but as you expand to 1,600 teachers, mm -hmm. right. you know, what so, kind of time, you know, Commitment is that for you? Well, the the secondary ed techs, there's like, what, six of us now? Nine. Nine secondary ed techs. And each one of us is responsible for a couple different modules in the fast track. So what we can do is individually grade each person going through the fast track, and that way we can determine who has completed that. And then in our schools, we can go in and work with those teachers and observe them and say, yeah, you're definitely at blue or you're definitely at black. We have 20 ed techs in the whole school district, so each of us is able to visit one or two schools and be able to monitor the teachers. It's broken up among the team. Yep. It's going to explode, says Robert. Robert we're going to put sleeping right there. bags in our office and we're just going to live there. Yeah. <laughs> we are looking at recruiting other help, though. We are, I didn't mention this, but we're, in, we're a team of about 20 education technology specialists. We are instructional designers, uh, but we're also education tra uh, technology trainers. But we also have a curriculum department of about I don't know, 40 or so, and about 20 real team leads there. So we are going to ask for their help. Again, this isn't on the internet yet, right? <laughs> but we do need help, and we will be recruiting our curriculum department to help you want us. Let me send an that's email. The only, like, yeah. right Can now? you send that email? out real quick? Tweet that, and then we'll be good. Cool. So I think we kind of need to wrap up, but if you have other questions, come on up. We have some swag. Again, this is kind of an example of our Black Diamond swag. We've got. Uh, Pins, lanyards, clips, a nice mug that they get. Our favorite thing is that the blue level, it's really the big incentive for the blue level is the stylus pen flashlight, flashlight yeah. combo. Uh, and we designed all the logos for these. We work with a uh, print company to get all these made. So Canvas was great to help us uh, with the logo and everything else like that. But we did all the design and artwork. And then I should say too, Canvas and Amy have been very good about um, giving us some of the Canvas swag that they've got, and we've used that in our uh, gift bags to teachers as well. We also want to wrap up by promoting our Flipping Utah conference, which will be on uh, August 12th and 13th at Jordan High School. If you just Google Flip in Utah like that, it'll take you right to our page, and you can learn more about the presentations that will be there. All about blended learning and flipped classroom instruction. We kind of are excited about that as well. But thank you. Come ask questions. Yep. Find us, tweet us. Thank you very much.